Hey guys, today we are celebrating the letter L. Woohoo! We are going to learn how to write a letter today. Now, as you can see behind me, we have the post office. This is where you go to write letters, or I'm sorry, where you go to mail letters. I guess you could write a letter there, but there's lots of things you have to have before you get to go to the post office. You need to have your envelope. It needs to have the name of where it's going. It also needs to have your name. So in case it gets lost, it can get mailed back to you and you need to have a stamp. So first we're gonna go ahead and watch a video about how to mail a letter. Then we're gonna practice writing one of our own. Here we go. We are at the post office to mail a letter and find out what happens to it. Where do we mail a letter? In the mailbox. Who can tell me why is this called a mailbox? It's a box and, it's, and you put mail in it. That's right, because it's a box and you put mail in it. This is a compound word. It's called mailbox. So what would the letter be called if we put it in the box? No. Mail. And this is the box. But why can't we mail our letters? There's no stamp. So let's go inside and get a stamp so we can put our letters in the mailbox. Perfect. Let's go. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the post office. May I help you? Yes, I'm Penny, and these are the Kid Vision BPK kids, and we have letters that we would yeah. like to mail, but we need stamps. Okay. I'm going to take you over to Gladys. She has some fun stamps for you to mail your letters out today. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Gladys. How can I help you? Let me see. Stamps. We need stamps, but we want to make sure that our address is correct. What is on the address of the envelope? Let me read your return address here. Name, address, and zip code. And here, what is going to? Name, address, and zip code. Let me see the other ones. Everyone check. Mm -hmm. Check your letters. Make sure you have your name, your street address, your city, state, yes. and your zip code. Yes. So what are we missing? Yeah. Our stamps. Yeah. We need one stamp and we're going to put it in the uh, envelope. Where does the stamp mm -hmm. go? Yes. Feel. Right. It goes yeah. in the empty mm -hmm. corner of the envelope. That's correct. Can you put your stamp on the empty yeah, corner? Yes, the oldest stamp. Yes, the stamp yes they're, it's stickers. Yes. Stamps are stickers. Mm -hmm. You're doing a good job of peeling it. I want one to go. So uh, stamps look different even though they're the same amount. The same amount, yes. And why does it cost money to mail a, a letter? Because we have expenses to cover. The money that you pay to buy a stamp helps pay all the workers and keeps the facilities open so that you, we can have a post office. And now what happens next? Next, we're okay. going to put it in here and we're going to take it to the mailbox. <laughs> Out here is number 37. So anything that goes to Route 37 comes to me. I have letters, and we call these flats. And I also have many different sizes of boxes and packages, like this package right here, or a parcel. What shape is this? Rectangle. All right. And sometimes we also have packages like this. What shape is that? Cylinder. A cylinder. Good job. Kids, can you tell me what shape is that letter? Rectangle. It's a rectangle. And I see he's got some, these magazines are called flats. Why do you think they're called flats? Because they're flat? Because they're flat. And what shape is that? Rectangle. It's a rectangle. Good job. And then this all goes into the case. I put it all together. Then I go to my packages and I line my packages up. And I pull all the mail down and I load it in this hamper. And then I roll this hamper out into my truck. Let's go outside. Okay. And I'll load up my parcel. Okay, here we are 
out at my mail truck. As you can see, there's a big eagle emblem on the back of the truck. And this tells you that this vehicle is with the United States Postal Service. So when you see this vehicle, you know the mailman is in the neighborhood. I wear a special uniform, special shoes that protect my ankles in case I step in a hole or step on a rock and I would twist my ankle, this way I don't hurt it. I always have to have white socks with nice colored, bright colored stripes. I have to have blue pants with a stripe down the side and a blue shirt. I always have to have my identification badge on so people know who I am when I'm out there delivering the mail. And I also have the insignia right here and my hat. But because I work outside in the sun, I always like to switch my hat when I get outside. And I put this sun hat on to keep my face out of the sun so that I don't get sunburned. Look inside. How do you organize your letters when you put them in the mail truck? I load them up in a nice straight line all the way to the back of the cabin. These packages are called spurs, spurs. because they're not in a regular box and they're not flat. They're a different shape. They're not a letter or a magazine. I take my packages and the package I'm going to deliver first, I put in the front of the cabin and the packages that I'm going to deliver last, I put in the back of the cabin. And I've also, I've already put all my letters and my flats together in separate bundles. This is First Street, this is Second Street, and this is Third Street. So as I park, at each block, I can just take the mail for the section of the route that I'm going to deliver. And I deliver to the same addresses every day. So I get to know all my customers. They become like family to me. And it's, it really makes me feel good that I can make my customers happy on a daily basis. I'm gonna load these last packages and spurs into my vehicle so I can get ready to go out to deliver to all my customers. Thank you very much. It was very nice to meet a mail carrier. Thank you, Penny. It was my pleasure. You Thank too, you. children. You've been wonderful today. Thank you so much for coming to the post office. That's terrific. Thank you very much for telling us about the post office. No problem. Thank you for coming, Penny and the kids. And anytime you're in the area, feel free to stop by and visit. Bye-bye, packages. Bye. All right, you guys, now that we know how mail gets to your house, it's time for us to write our own letter. Now that we've seen how the mail gets delivered, we're ready to practice our own. Each letter has the same format that it follows. Up at the top, there's a greeting. It might say dear or to, and then you write the name of who you're gonna write it to. So I'm gonna write this letter to my grandma. So I'm gonna say dear grandma. And I'm gonna try and write nice and neat on the line. The next part of your letter is the body of the letter. That's this right here. That's where you put your message. So this template already has an example for us. It says, how are you? I'm gonna tell her some of the things that I've been doing. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna write, I'm learning to write a letter. And I'm also going to write, I miss you. I miss you. And I'm going to put an exclamation mark. And then at the end, it says, I hope you write me back. Now, at the very bottom of your letter is your closing. That's where you end your letter. It says from, and then you write your name. So I'm going to say from. Mrs. Widhelm. And this is our closing down at the bottom. So we have a greeting up at the top that tells you who you're writing to. You have your body of the letter in the middle that has your message and you have your closing at the end that has your name. Now this letter also has space for a picture. So I'm gonna draw a picture to match. My grandma has a big apple tree in her yard, so I'm going to make sure I put that in my picture. Now, 
Now that we're done writing our letter, I need to put it in an envelope. In the envelope or on the outside, I'm gonna write my address up at the top. That's so they know who it's from, but also if your letter gets lost, it can get mailed back to you. Then you put the address of who it's to in the middle and up in the very corner, do you know what goes up there? The stamp. So I hope you guys practice writing letters today. You could write a letter and mail it, or you could just write a letter to somebody in your family and hand it to them. Have fun.